Hey everybody, Dear Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of My Butler, along Shohei Nakano's route. And we are on his happy ending here, to be by your side. Next episode will be his normal ending, and then we'll have his extras. So for now, you can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. W what should I do? I'm so nervous. My heart feels like it's about to fly out of my mouth. It had felt like a long time, but it had ended in a flash. My surreal three months had ended. Today was the Christmas party. Are you okay? I don't look weird, do I? Don't make that face. Hinokura smiled awkwardly as he fixed my bangs with his fingers. You don't have to worry. You'll be fine. You're very beautiful, my lady. Even if you tell me that. Auntie Eiko had prepared this special order dress and this very extravagant jewelry. I don't look like myself, but... When I think about everyone staring at me, it really makes me nervous. You'll have me beside you. Yonekuro gently whispered into my ear, and I finally calmed down. Are your preparations in order, Mr. Rilly? He respectfully held its left arm out to me. Y yes I stretched out my arm and entangled it with his. Then, shall we? <sighs> it's finally time for me to debut at the party. Yonekuro opened the door. At that moment, I could tell that the room had become silent. There was brilliant music and Christmas decorations in the assembly hall. Not to mention, it was overflowing with guests having joyful conversation. Oh, you're late, Yonakura. You too, Mr. Rilly. I had to be fashionably late. The first person that had talked to me after I entered the assembly hall was Kira. You look beautiful, Mr. Rilly. Th thank you. Aw, oh, poor Kamisaki. Why don't you stop staring at her blankly and say something, Kamisaki? Huh? Uh... Um, you look very... P pretty miss Th thank you, Kamisaki. Whoa! You're Yonakura Shohei? No way! Kira's here? Kamisaki? I've seen him in person! I could hear the female guests around me get excited and start to clamor. They're celebrities. I knew those three would get a lot of attention. Of course. Even if they're on a break, those three are popular A-list celebrities. Everyone seemed to have thought that Auntie Eiko had prepared their butler uniforms for fun. Good work, Dorilli. Uh, Auntie Eiko. I turned around after she suddenly called my name. She smiled pleasantly as she looked at me. Hey, Mrs. Eiko. Splendid job on the party. Hello. <laughs> Good work, you three. Well, I'm going to borrow Dorilli for a moment. Is that okay with you, Yonakara? Yeah, but come back as soon as you can. She's my precious master, after all. j jeez Yonakura's at it again. So really? You look very pretty. You look exactly like an innocent noblewoman's daughter. Th that's not... It's probably thanks to the dress and necklace you prepared for me. No, I'm not talking about your outward appearance. It feels like you have a different aura around you. Could Yonakura be the reason you've changed? Huh? Well... You're not the only one who's changed. Yonakura has as well. Y Yonakura has changed? So, so really? Auntie Eiko's gentle eyes changed into strict business-oriented ones. How would you rate Yonakura? Oh, after spending these last three months with him, are you satisfied with his service? I... I'm not sure if I'm satisfied with his service or not, but... These past three months with him have been like bliss. I see... Auntie Eiko's face became gentle again, and she smiled happily. I understand, really. Good job. In other words, Yonakura has passed, right? Uh... Oh, since he passed? That means he's going to go back to his celebrity lifestyle again. And so, the brilliant Christmas party had come to an end. You did a really wonderful job, Mr. Rilly. That party was a big hit. I'd returned to my room, and everyone started to thank me. Yeah, thanks. But I'm really beat. <laughs> you were so popular, a large number of guests had surrounded you too. I was asked numerous times by guests to tell them about you. I I can't believe it. You really were gorgeous, Mr. Illy. Even Kamisaki started spacing out as he stared at you. That's nothing new. Huh? What are you saying, Kira? Y you As Kira and the others were having a lively chit-chat, 
Yonakura was completely silent and said nothing. Yonakura? Hmm. Huh. I guess this is farewell to these crafted butler clothes and fake glasses. Oh, those are fake glasses. What? Your glasses are fake, Kira? Yeah, I have 20-20 vision. I feel relieved now that I can go back to being myself. Oh, that's right. Tonight's the last night Kira and the others have to act as my butlers. Starting tomorrow, Yonakura and the others will... At any rate, I'm sure you're tired, so please take it easy and rest. Okay, thanks. Well then, good night, Mr. Lee. Sweet dreams. Night. Having said their good nights, they left my room. Except for Yonakura. Only Yonakura and I were left in the room. Good work out there, Mr. Lee. You were perfect. I feel proud to have been given the chance to escort you. Yonakura. Tonight, he seemed a little more different than usual. Is it because... Tonight's the last night we can spend together? Thanks. I was able to do so well thanks to you, Yonakara. Stop thinking it's gonna be our last night. He said we have to be resolved. I have to be as resolved as he is. Don't be so modest. Even if I hadn't taught you, you would have done an amazing job. I mean, you are the girl I fell in love with. He let out a smile and held my hips. At first I thought the test was going to be a pain, but... I'm glad I came here. Thanks to that opportunity, I was able to meet you. Yonakura. Until now, I've just done the things I wanted to do, the way I wanted to. I didn't think about others, and always did as I pleased. But now, I think about how I want to see your smile rather than about myself. I feel like I've learned the happiness that comes from serving somebody. Yonakura. His voice became unusually serious. When I think about you, I feel like I can naturally act like I'm in love with someone. How should I put it? My range of emotions has extended. Sheesh, it's not like me to be so serious. No, that's not true. Yonakura was embarrassed as he smiled, and I instinctively shook my head. Even I was able to help out Yonakura. Just thinking about that makes me happy. Hey, Yonakura, are you still my butler? Yeah, I'm your butler until tomorrow morning. Until tomorrow morning? Then tonight... Could you hold me until morning? Really? After hearing what I'd said, Yonakura opened his eyes in shock. You'll be fine with just me holding you? No, I want more. After that, he smiled gleefully and gazed into my eyes. I could do a whole lot more. Actually, I want to do more. He kissed me before he could finish his own sentence. Okay, then you can do whatever you want with me until morning. Uh, that's a lot of leeway you're giving him there. Hey. This time, he was really shocked. So am I. Really? If you say something like that, you won't be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine even if I don't sleep. That's fine. I mean, when morning comes, you're not gonna won't be my butler anymore. Really? You really are cute. When you look up at me like that, I can't hold myself back anymore. His cheeks were unusually pink, as he let a smile slip out. He hugged me tightly. I won't let you complain about not getting enough sleep once morning comes. However, the next morning... Yonakura? When I'd woken up, Yonakura wasn't anywhere to be seen. Oh, good morning, Dirilly Doll. Dirilly Doll? What are you doing, Kira? Oh, I'm packing my bags. Kamisaki and I had to go back home after all. Shouldn't you pack up your things soon too? Kira sure has become frank after quitting being a butler. Um, where's Yonakura? Work, apparently. Oh, Kamisaki. Work? This early in the morning? He's been out on break for three months after all. I'm sure his work kept piling up. I, I see. It kind of feels like everything really has ended. <laughs> Don't make that sad face now. It makes me want to tease you. What? T tease me? It'll be alright. If I see Yonakara, I'll tell him how sad you were, and then he should see you. Th thank you. K Kira's kinda... The difference between his real self and butler self might be really big. Uh, they really left. The afternoon had rolled around, and 
Cars came for Kira and Kamisaki respectfully. We'd said our goodbyes, and they had really left the mansion. I'm the only one left now. I kind of... really feel lonely. Mr. Illy. Oh, Kagorozaka. I realized Kagorozaka had been standing close to me, chuckling as he looked at me. Shall I make some tea for you? But I have to pack my things. <laughs> It'll be alright if you don't do it in a hurry. This place is like your second home. We think of you as our master and don't mind calling you Mr. Illy. Kagorozaka. You really are kind, aren't you? <laughs> is that what you think? Beneath this smile, I might unexpectedly be thinking of some grand scheme. Like, something I could never say in front of you. He is a genius, after all. Huh? Y you're joking, right? I want to know what he's really here for. Of course, I'm just kidding. I want to know what Kirishin was doing here, too. Kagurazaka chuckled, looking composed. Well then, I'll go and prepare the tea. Please wait a moment, Mr. Illy. Uh, okay. <sighs> My heart was beating so fast. As I waited for Kagurazaka, who disappeared into the dining hall. Mr. Illy. Kirishima, what's wrong? It was rare to see Kirishima so panicked. Could you come here for a moment? He opened the sideboard door, and there was a small TV inside. With a stern face, Kirishima used the remote to turn it on. Huh? This is... a morning talk show? How unusual for Kirishima to show me something like this. Not to mention, this is the first time I've seen the TV in the mansion. That's weird. Please just watch. Kirishima had a complex expression on his face as he made me watch TV. Uh, okay? The person on screen was... Huh? Y Yonakura? The scarlet red hair that I'd been so familiar with had shown up in the middle of the screen. The truth about your passionate relationship. Your partner is a member of the general public? Close to the television station's entrance, Yonakura had been, was being mobbed by the press. Oh, could they be talking about that article? According to the article, your partner is a college student, but... You're dating because you hope to be married to each other one day? M mary There's no way! Yes, of course. What? The press began to stir after Yonakura had confirmed that fact. Oh, but I haven't told her yet. <laughs> well, <laughs> cat's out of the bag now! Does that mean you haven't proposed to her yet? Yeah, I'll do it once I see her tonight. Well, it's not going to be a surprise anymore. Huh? Y Yonakura? When you say tonight, does that mean you're already living together? Please give us an answer, Yonakura. Well, if she refuses my proposal, that's when I'll give a formal statement. He had an awkward smile on as he waved to the press and entered the TV station. I stared blankly at his back that was being displayed on the TV screen. He's going to propose to me? Is he joking, or is he serious? Later that night, Yonakura had returned to my room. Oh, I'm home, really. What are you doing wearing your butler uniform again? Yonakura! I rushed over to him without thinking as he unexpectedly entered my room. What's going on? You said there's things on TV. Huh? Oh, you were watching? Yonakura frowned and scratched his face roughly. It's not very funny if I say it on TV before telling you. But before telling me? I was dumbfounded and looked up at Yonakura. <laughs> well, there's nothing I can do if you saw it. I was going to tell you tonight either way. Y Yonakura? Really? Before I knew it, Yonakura had an earnest expression on. He stood in front of me and looked right at me. And then... Marry me, Darili. I could see his arrogant face, overflowing with confidence as he said those words. Or... Is he going to threaten me? Do you want me to say... Please marry me, Mr. Rilly? Oh. I smiled pleasantly as my face started to get hot. Marry? I'm going to marry Onakura? I... I... I was so happy. I didn't know what to say, and... My eyes began to wander. Really? Uh, he grabbed my arms forcefully and... Yonakura? Be quiet. Yonakura whispered sweetly. He captured my chin as if it were a surprise attack and kissed me with all his might. Uh, 
His lips pressed deeply against mine, and his tongue forcefully split my mouth open. I'd gotten used to his overbearing kisses in these past few months. Ugh. Ugh. It was painful, but oh so sweet. Yonekaro's choking scent began to make me dizzy. Really? Ah, that face. Yonekaro's voice also became hoarse, as he couldn't hide how aroused he was. What's your answer, Darily? Of course, it is a yes, isn't it? Ah. Uh, he continued kissing me at different angles, and... In between kisses, Yonekaro whispered with his voice filled with lust. Uh-huh. I'd wanted to say yes, but... Yonekaro's kisses felt so good, I couldn't think of anything at all. Ugh. <sighs> As our lips finally separated, our saliva made a line, and... Ugh. I looked up at Yonakura, with eyes clouded in moisture from the heat. I'll ask you one more time. What's your answer to really? Yonakura. Of course it's a yes. I put my arms around his neck and, with a smile, I jumped into his chest. Aww. I felt like I wanted a tiny little cap ending for that, but that's okay. <laughs> Sometimes these things just feel so abrupt when they end. Alright, well... The next episode will be the normal ending, and then we shall do the sequel and date scenario. So, hope to see you there or in some of my other videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye bye, everybody.